Okay, so you should have finished your 13 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So now we're going to sew on the face. Go ahead and take your snout and then just put some, and I just use some um, pillow stuffing, a cheap pillow. Just stuff the snout. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to sew in place are the eyes. So I'm going to put the, it's actually going to be on video the left, but it's the um, tiger's right eye. And you want to count down 11 from the center of the top of the head. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then right beneath that 11th row is going to be the upper white portion of that eye. So go ahead and sew that eye into place. And you want to use the white yarn with your tapestry needle. So you just take your tapestry needle and use that long white yarn to sew only the white portion of the eye in place. And then you're going to change to your gold yarn and sew around the gold and sew that in place. And when you're done, come back and I'll show you how to sew the other eye on. Okay, so now you're going to sew the other eye on. So you count in between 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then you place your other eye and just make sure it lines up with the top and bottom of the other eye. And then just sew that eye on as well. Okay, so after you get your eyes sewn on, then you're going to go back to where you left off and just move a new yarn marker up. And you're going to do four more rows of just one single crochet into every stitch. Okay, so you should have finished your four rows, one, two, three, four. So now just leave a big loop and you're going to go back to the front. And now it looks like Pac-Man. You're going to take your snout and you're just going to place it at this level and you can see that it's at the level, let's see, let me count down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it's right below the 14th row that you're going to sew the snout in place. And just make sure that you bunch up to leave yourself that last row, but it's going to line up exactly with that last row. And you're just going to sew it. All, all around the snout with your tapestry needle. So you're going to start, you want to make sure that your nose is center between the eyes and not crooked. And then once you have it centered, you can start at the bottom of the snout and then just line it up and come up through the bottom portion of the head and then take the lower lip of the snout and just bring your tapestry needle through from the inside and just leave enough yarn on the inside to tie your knot. And then just make sure that you don't, don't um, tangle up with your yarn to finish the head. And then you're just going to go in and out making sure that your, your nose is not going crooked and you're just going to go in and out with your tapestry needle and you're just going to sew your snout in place and what I'm doing is I'm just sewing the bottom of the snout first and then I'll show you how I then go up to the top and sew the top portion of the snout. Okay so once I've sewed a few stitches on the bottom then I'm going to line up the top and then just come up I'm just going to line the top where I want to have it and then just come up with my tapestry needle right in the center
and that way I, I have the top portion of the snout where I want it and then I will sew the sides of the snout so that's just an easy way to sew it so you can make sure that your snout doesn't go crooked okay so now that your snout is sewn in place now we can sew the ears on okay so now we're going to place the ear and how we're going to place the ear is you're going to go from the center of the top and you're going to go down five so one two three four five but you also want to be six away from the eye so it's one two three four five six so your ear is going to be right there so you just place your ear on that spot and that's where you're going to sew your ear onto the tiger and so how I'm going to do that is once you know where your ear is going to be placed you're going to take your tapestry needle with the white yarn and you're going to come up from the inside into that top corner of the ear so I'm just going to tie a knot on the inside that way I can secure the top part of the ear where I want it as I sew. So here is how my ear looks and I put a little bit of a curve in there and then between the eye you can see I have about one two three four five so I'm on the sixth stitch on the side and I'm going to come back up through the inside into the bottom of the ear now. So you can see how I have the tapestry needle at the bottom of the ear and then you can just sew your ear in place in the front and in the back and then tie the knot in the back and then you can bury your loose yarn ends on the inside okay so you have one ear sewn on so now go ahead and sew the other ear on the same way and then come back and I'll show you what to do next okay so now we're going to do the decoration on the face so you're going to need your second color or the color of your tiger on your tapestry needle and we're going to go ahead and do the whiskers first so you're going to come up with your tapestry needle and you're going to come right below the eye about a stitch down from the inside and leave enough on the inside of the head to tie a knot and then you're going to go up about two stitches over from the eye back in and also one row up back in with your tapestry needle and then you're going to come one row down in line with the top stitch you made and then you're going to go across for the bottom whisker and then you're going to go two stitches over right in between and come up from the inside And then you're going to go up for the side stripe. And then you're going to go over one space 
with your tapestry needle and you're going to make the slightly larger stripe and then you're going to do this exact same thing on the other side and then just tie your knot on the inside so it doesn't come loose okay so you should have your tiger stripes all done so now we're going to do the eyebrow with the same color so you're going to come up with your tapestry needle and I'm coming up about at an angle to the little white dot on the eye and leave enough on the inside again you know to tie your knot and then you're going to go up one row up at an angle around you're following the white portion of the eye and then just go back in and then you're going to go right above the white portion of the eye and then you're going to go back in to the top of that other red portion of the stitch and you're going to do the same you're going to tie a knot and then just do the same thing for the other eye okay so you have the eyebrows now for the tiger so now you're going to take your tapestry needle and you're going to go right through the center of the top of the head with your tapestry needle and just make sure you leave enough yarn on the inside again to tie your knot and then you're going to go down eight one two three four five six seven eight and you're going to go right down the center and then you're going to come up about two, two rows down at an angle and you're going to go back in through the center and then you're going to go down the other side to make the same mark on the opposite side And then you're going to go up one row about a stitch over and then you're going to cross over you're going to go up one two rows onto the other side about a stitch over and then you're just going to make an X And then you're just going to tie a knot on the inside and then you're done with the decorations. Okay, so now we're going to close the head. So you're going to go back to where you left off and we're going to move the yarn marker up to where we left off. And now we're going to do one single crochet in the next five stitches. One. two, three, four, five, and then now we're going to do a decrease. So you're going to go into the next stitch, you're going to bring up a loop, you have two loops on your hook, you're going to go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, and you have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and then go through all three loops for a decrease. So this is our decrease round. 
So you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. I'm going to do one more with you. I'm going to go into the next stitch and do one single crochet, second stitch, one single crochet, third stitch, one single crochet, fourth stitch, one single crochet, and the fifth stitch, one single crochet, and then you're going to do a decrease. So you're going to go bring up a loop, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, and go through all three for a decrease. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker, and then come back. Okay, so we're back to the yarn marker. Go ahead and move up the yarn marker. And now you're going to do one single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, four, and then you're going to do a decrease. So you're going to bring up a loop, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through all three loops for a decrease. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Okay, so now you're going to take your yarn marker and move it up for another decrease round. And this time we're going to do one single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three, and then we're going to do a decrease stitch. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back. Okay, so now we're going to do our last decrease round. So go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up. And now you're going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches. One, two, and then you're going to do your decrease stitch. So you go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, next stitch, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through all three. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Okay, so now we're done. And we're just going to leave a little bit of an opening for when we sew the tiger's head onto the body. So now what you're going to do is you're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch over. So you're going to go into the next stitch. You're going to yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. And then you're going to finish off. So you're going to yarn over and then bring the yarn through the loop and just enough to bury into the work. So your head is done. So we'll stuff it later, but you can set it aside for now because we're going to do the body next. Okay, so now we're going to do the body and I'm using the J crochet hook or six millimeter crochet ho hook to do the body. And we're going to start with the white yarn and you're just going to make the magic circle. So you're going to drape the yarn across your four fingers and then stabilize with your thumb and then wrap around your two middle fingers twice and hold in place with your pinky and your thumb. And then just take your J hook, go under those two loops around the middle finger and you're going to bring up a loop. And then you're going to yarn over and go through that loop for a slip knot. And then you're going to do six single crochet into the magic circle. Just like you did the head. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So go ahead and take your forefinger and your thumb and then just hold it at the base of the two, six single crochet and then you have the two loops on the other side of the magic circle. Go ahead and pull on one to close and then take that loose yarn strand and pull on that. And then just close this circle mostly. We can close it more later. And then you're going to do two single crochet into every stitch around. So in that first stitch, you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. So go ahead and finish doing two single crochet into every stitch all the way around for a total of 12 and then come back. Okay, so now we're going to start our increase rounds just like we did with the head. You're just going to take your yarn marker and place it where you left off and then you're going to do one single crochet into the next stitch and then in the second stitch you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. 
So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back. Okay, so now you're going to take your yarn marker and you're going to move it up to the, where you left off. And now you're going to do one single crochet in the next two spaces. One, two, and then in the third stitch you're going to do two single crochet. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. And go ahead and take your yarn marker, move it up to the next where you left off, and we're going to do one single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three, and then in the fourth stitch you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch, and you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Okay, so go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up. And now you're going to do one single crochet in the next four stitches. So you can see how we're increasing the numbers to make it bigger. And then in the fifth stitch, you're going to do two single crochet. One, two. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So this is how your work should be looking. We're going to do another increase round. Go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up. And now we're going to do one single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And then in the sixth stitch, you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Okay, so we're going to do another increase round. And you're going to be increasing just like this all the way up to eight. One single crochet in eight and then two single crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and do this last increase with you and then I'll have you finish up to eight. So on this one we're doing six. So in the next six stitches, one, two, three, four, five, Six. And then in the seventh stitch, we're going to do two single crochet. One, two. And then we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. And then I want you to start the next two increase rounds on your own. So you're going to finish with one single crochet in eight stitches and then two single crochet in the ninth stitch. And then come back and I'll show you how to join the new color. Okay, so you should have finished your increase rounds where you did one single crochet in eight stitches and then two single crochet. So now we're going to join our new color. Just take your um, yarn marker and you may not even need your yarn marker, but I'm just going to use it still just in case. So you just go into your next stitch and bring up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. You're just going to take your second color. and you're just going to hook it and bring it through both loops and then you're going to chain one and then turn your work over to tie a knot onto the back And now you're just going to do one single crochet in every stitch with your new color and you're going to carry the white yarn around with you as you're working with the new color. So you're going to go into the next stitch, you're going to bring up a loop and you can see how I'm burying the white yarn to take it with me as I crochet and then I'm going to yarn over and go through both loops for a single crochet and then I'm going to do one single crochet into every stitch all the way around and carry the white yarn with me. So go ahead and do one single crochet all the way around back to the yarn marker with your new color. Okay, so now I'm back to where I started. So I have the one last white stitch unworked so I'm going to bring the red yarn forward and start working with the white yarn. I'm going to go into that next stitch, 
bring up a loop with the white yarn and then I have one loop with the red and one loop with the white. I'm going to yarn over and go through both for a single crochet and now I'm going to start carrying the red yarn and do one single crochet into every stitch with the white yarn. And I'm going to do three rows of white yarn and then switch, do a color change and do one row of the red. So it's going to be a striped red and it's going to look just like this. So here you have the three rows of the white and you can change it up too if you want to do two. I kind of changed it up and alternated between two and three. So however you like to do it, but I always do just one stripe with the color change. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to finish doing your rows of white and then the one rows of the color change and you need a total of 15 rows and then when you've completed 15 rows come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay so you should have finished your 15 rows 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So now we're going to do our decrease rounds. So you're just going to take your marker, yarn marker, and move it up. And now you're going to do one single crochet into five stitches and then you're going to do your decrease stitch. So you're going to go into the first stitch and do one single crochet and you're still carrying your colors and alternating. Here you can see how I've done three white stripes and then a red stripe and three I've been sticking to that pattern. So you're still going to stick to that pattern as you do your decreases. So in my first stitch I did a single crochet, second stitch, one single crochet, third stitch, one single crochet, fourth stitch, one single crochet, and then in the fifth stitch you're going to do a single crochet, and then you're going to do your decrease. So your decrease, you're going to go into the next stitch, you're going to bring up a loop, and then you're going to go into the next stitch and bring up a loop, and then you're going to yarn over and go through all three loops for a decrease. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yellow yarn marker, and then come back and I'll show you what to do on the next row. Okay, so I'm back at my yarn marker. And I only had four stitches left, so I just did one single crochet into every stitch. And now I'm going to take my yarn marker and move it up to where I left off. And now we're going to do one single crochet into the next four stitches and then do a decrease. So in the next stitch, you're going to do one single crochet, second stitch, one single crochet. Actually, I'm going to change colors. So I did the three white, so I want to do a red. So I'm going to, when I put my yarn marker up, I'm going to move the white yarn forward and switch to the red. But I'm still going to do the decrease. So in the next four stitches, we're going to do one single crochet. So in the second stitch, one single crochet third stitch, one single crochet, and in the fourth stitch, one single crochet, and now we're going to do a decrease. So you're going to go into the next stitch, you're going to bring up a loop, go into the next stitch and bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through all three for a decrease. So you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back and I'll show you how to move on to the next round. Okay, so you should be back to your yarn marker and again I only had four stitches left and I just did a single crochet into every stitch. So now I'm going to take my yarn marker and move it up to where I left off and I'm going to change colors. So I'm going to bring the orangish red yarn forward or whatever color you're using for your stripes forward and then I'm going to go ahead and do a single crochet into the first stitch with my white yarn and again this is going to be another decrease round 
So this time we're going to do one single crochet in the next three stitches. So this is my third stitch for a single crochet. And now I'm going to do a decrease. So I'm going to go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through all three for a decrease. You're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Okay, so we're back to the yarn marker and I had four stitches left again and I just did a single crochet into every stitch. So now you're going to take your yarn marker and move it up. And I'm still working my white stripe, but I'm going to do a decrease round again. So this time we're going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches. And then we're going to do our decrease stitch. So you go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through all three for decrease. So you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back. Okay, so you should be back at your yarn marker. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up. And now you're just going to do decrease, round, decrease stitches all the way around back to the yarn marker. So you're going to go into the next stitch and bring up a loop and go into the next stitch and bring up a loop and then yarn over and pull through all three for a decrease. And then you're going to go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop for a decrease. And then you're just going to do your decrease rounds all the way around. But what we're going to do is go ahead and get rid of the, the red yarn because you're not going to need, or whatever your striped colored yarn is, you're not going to need that anymore. So just cut enough yarn to tie a knot and to bury into your work. And then you're just going to continue, make sure that you have a good knot there too. I'm going to tie one more, make sure that that's tied well. Okay, so now you're just going to keep doing your decrease stitches all the way around back to the yarn marker. And you can stuff the pillow stuffing into here at any time. And then also go ahead and put the stuffing into the head as well. Okay, so I finished doing my decreases all the way around. I have one stitch left. I'm just going to do a single crochet into that stitch. And then I'm going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. So I'm going to bring up a loop. Actually, I'm going to yarn over and just bring through, bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. And then you're going to finish off. You're going to yarn over and just go through that loop to finish off. Okay, so you should have put your stuffing, your pillow stuffing, into the tiger's body and as well as in the tiger's head. But before we sew the um, head onto the body, we need to make the four legs because the four legs are going to be sewed on first. But before we even do that, I just want to go over the body a little bit because as you notice that the body of Siberia is a little bit skinnier and that's just because it's the same pattern but the type of yarn that you use can sometimes constrict a little bit more. So if you like the skinnier body then um, and you're, you like the other type of yarn for the stripes or whatever color that you're making then when you're doing your increase rounds you may want to use less less rounds if you're using the different yarn so then you can get the appropriate size that you want but this size is still good 
and I'm going to show you how to make the four legs now. Okay, so you're going to use your J crochet hook or six millimeter crochet hook. And you're going to take your white yarn and you're just going to drape it across your four fingers and use your thumb to stabilize and then just wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers and then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb and then take your crochet hook and go into the magic circle. You're going to bring up a loop and then you're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for your slip knot. And then you're going to do six single crochet into the magic circle. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then take your forefinger and thumb and hold it at the base of the six single crochet. Then you have your two loops on the other side. You just take and pull on one. If it doesn't pull, then you let go and pull on the other one. And that'll close up the magic circle. And then take the loose yarn in and pull on that to finish closing. And don't worry if it's not completely closed because we can close it more later. Let's see if I can get some of the glare off. So now we're going to do two single crochet into every stitch around. So in this first stitch, sometimes getting into that first stitch is difficult, but you're going to do a single crochet. You're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. And then go ahead and finish doing two single crochet into every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. And then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so you should have finished 12. So now we're just going to close that center. So just turn your work over and then pull on that center yarn to close the hole in the center. And then go ahead and get your yarn marker and then put it right where you left off. And now we're going to do one single crochet. We're going to do an increase round. So you're going to do one single crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to do two single crochet into the second stitch. One and two. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back. Okay, so now you're going to take your yarn marker and move it up to where you left off. And now you're going to do three rows of one single crochet into every stitch. So you're going to do one single crochet in every stitch all the way around for three rows and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so you should have finished three rows. One, two, three. And go ahead and move your yarn marker up to where you left off. And now we're going to do two, four decreases or four where you sew two stitches together. So in the next stitch you're going to bring up a loop. In the next stitch, you're going to bring up a loop. And you have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and go through all three for one decrease. Go into the next stitch, bring up a loop. Go in the next stitch, bring up a loop. Three loops on the hook. Yarn over and go through all three for your second decrease. And we're going to do our third decrease. and the fourth decrease. And now you're just going to do one single crochet into every stitch back to your yarn marker and then come back. Okay, so now you're going to take your yarn marker and move it up and now we're going to do three decreases. So you're going to go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, Next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all three for one. Two decrease and three decrease. 
Now you're just going to do one single crochet into every stitch back to the yarn marker. Okay, so this is how your work should look, and you can see how you're making the little tiny four paw. So now we're going to join our new color. So you're going to go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, and then take your color, your second color, and just yarn over and bring that through those both those loops on the hook and then you're going to chain one and then you're just going to turn it over and tie a knot Okay, so now you can go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up. Even though your color change can probably be enough yarn marker, but I'm just going to move it up to show for a video. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a stripe with my new color. So I'm going to do one single crochet into every stitch all the way around and carry my white yarn with me so I can change colors and do stripes on the um, four paw. So you just do one single crochet with your new color all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back. Okay, so I'm back at the yarn marker. So now I'm going to change back to my white colored yarn. So I'm going to move the red colored yarn forward. And then I'm going to go into the next stitch and then just bring up a loop with the white yarn and then yarn over and go through both for my first single crochet and then I'm just going to do one single crochet into every stitch around with my new white color and you're going to do the same thing that you did for the body I'll just show you with the other body where I did one row with the red or your set your striped color and then the three rows of white so you're going to do the same thing for the forefoot here and I'll show you with this one so you can see how I did that and then on this one I changed color towards the front so if you want a cleaner stripe across the front you can change color towards the back like I did right here so go ahead and finish doing just one single crochet into every stitch and doing your stripes and do that for 19 rows and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so you should have finished your 19 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So now I'm going to go ahead and just finish doing single crochets across to the side so I can tie my knot or finish off off to the side. So I'm going to finish doing the single crochet into every stitch just for a couple more to get my knot off to the side. And then you're going to go into the next stitch over and then you're going to bring up both yarn colors and bring them both through both loops on the hook and then you're going to yarn over both colors turn the hook upside down and go through your loop and bring enough yarn through to bury into your work and then go ahead and stuff both of your you're going to need two of them so go ahead and stuff both of your four feet and then come back and I'll show you how to sew them onto the project. Okay, so you should have finished two of the four paws. So don't worry about the um, black markings on the four paw. We're going to do that later. Sew those on later. For now, you're just going to grab the body of the tiger and make sure that you have the back part where you changed colors. We have a little bit of a seam. Put that in the back and then you're going to sew the front legs on to the rim here. So you're going to need your tapestry needle and the white yarn 
and you're just going to place the front legs where you would like them and make sure that you have your paw facing forward and we're going to bury the loose yarn ends later but once you have it lined up just take your tapestry needle from the inside and just go along those superficial stitches of the front paw and the body and just sew the leg on and make sure you leave enough yarn to bury the loose yarn ends and to tie a knot and you're just going to go and sew make sure you get the back of the front both the front stitch and the back stitch of the front leg and then into the body as you're sewing and then go ahead and sew on both of your front legs and make sure that your front legs are touching at the top as you sew them onto the body okay so you should have the four paws the front four paws sewn on so now you're just going to take your head and you're going to place it onto the body and when I sew the head on I like to sew it and I'm still using my white yarn that I have that I was using to sew on the front legs but what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew the nose use the nose as a guide and make sure that the nose stays midline in between the two front legs so I'm going to take my tapestry needle and move it to where I'm directly underneath the nose but still sewing on the neck portion so I'm going to take my tapestry needle from the inside and just come right between the two front legs and then I'm going to take the head and I'm going to center the nose midline right between the two front legs and I'm going to take the tapestry needle and just go up into the neck and then I'm just going to whatever part of the body that I go into if it's the head then I'm going to go across from the head and go down that way the stitch stays nicely along the head and then I'm going to go into the next stitch over on the body with the tapestry needle and then I'm just going to make sure that the head goes down snugly the stitch goes sn smooth and snug as I'm sewing so then now that I'm in the body I'm going to go in the through the body and then up into the head And the whole time, just making sure that the nose stays between the two front legs and that my stitches are going snugly as I'm working. And then also, I'm just going to show you one more. So now that I went up into the head, I'm going to go sideways into the next stitch over on the head and come down and into the body. So that's how you're going to sew all the way around the head. And then once you have the head sewn on, come back and I'll show you how to do the feet, the back feet. Okay, so the head should be sewn on. And this is how mine looks. So now I'm going to show you how to do the hind legs.